Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy's Promo. Today I will be showing you three of Samsung's advanced hidden unlockable menus. Now, a lot of people know about the whole developer options menu where you just go inside of your about phone, you go to the, the uh, build number, you tap it seven times, it unlocks developer options. It gives you a bunch of things in here. Uh, usually I use it to kind of take down my scaling of the animations and also too sometimes for particular games, one or two days of the week, I kind of have the stay awake while charging and I bring the brightness all the way down. So there is a couple advantages of using developer options. Now these ones are also uh, advanced as well. One of them more than likely you probably won't use much because a lot of it is developmental reasons, but it's pretty cool to see the things behind the applications. So there's one inside of gallery that you can unlock. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that here today. So two of them you'll also find beneficial. The gallery one, probably not so much. Again, that's why I'm calling this video advanced. So it's really not made for everybody but it's really fun to see everything and how the phone world could work so the first one that we'll cover today just to get it out of the way is gallery so inside of gallery if you hit on the little menu on the very bottom and then you hit on settings you scroll all the way down and then you go to about gallery now right here you want to tap on that version right there several times and then you'll see that you are unlocking just like developer options uh, you you just unlocked the gallery labs now again there's really not much need for this this is this is a only internal test only purpose type of stuff the functions and labs are not official and can be disappeared so if there's certain things you do through this menu and Samsung was a taken away, then you're probably gonna run into issues on your gallery app. That's one of the main reasons why you probably don't really wanna make any changes with inside of here. Uh, but it's just kind of showing you some of the things that they added in and changed along the way. So Samsung Win UI 2 dot whatever, three dot whatever five dot whatever so you have album entry locks uh there is that one ui 3x right here so you have that film strip in viewer so supports film strips in viewer for fast scrolling video player mode on film strip so you can choose what uh you know is going to be the video player mode on film film strip if you want to be default none legacy video seek bar um, you can scroll through you can read a few things if you want to but mostly again this is mostly for the internal development type of reasons uh, but it's pretty cool to see what you're able to do there's some fixes and some stuff that that there also is to do some options for develop developers on the very bottom so i mean it's kind of cool it's one of those again that is a unlockable hidden advanced menu but I wouldn't really go through making changes. I just kind of wanted to show you some of these things because it's kind of the back end of your phone and it's pretty fun. Again, if you're advanced, if you're a developer, this is a, a video for you and you're able to play with these um, at your own risk. And simply, if you want to, you can turn it off and then now it is bye-bye. Advanced hidden menu number two. This is one that I've shown off quite a few times. This is one that does help the, the benefit of pretty much any user with a Samsung phone. I do have to state that if you have a Verizon phone, more than likely this is locked because Verizon has their own diagnostic type things that they could use. But all you have to do is start with the star and you just basically carousel left. So you go star, pound, zero, star, pound. And once you type all that in, star, pound, zero, star, pound, then you're gonna come into this little testing menu. You. This is where you can test, you know, if, if the reds are all working, if there's any dead pixels. So there's your greens, there's your blues. You'd also be able to test your receiver. So it actually makes the sound right there. You can test the vibration, making sure that it vibrates. So if you're noticing that you're getting text messages, calls, pretty much anything, but it's not vibrating, you're, you went through a lot of your settings, you don't really know what's going on. This is one way to test just to make sure that the vibration at least works. Uh, you can test out your mega cam, which is the camera on the very back. Here's all of your sensors. This one's actually pretty cool. The gyroscopes, the barometers, accelerometer sensor, magnetic sensor, fingerprint sensors. You can actually tap on a few things. You can self-test some things, make sure that they all work. Uh, sometimes you have to swipe twice to go back. You can also test the speakers. So you can test the top ones, the bottom ones. And then you can even go inside of the touch right here. So you can go through you can pretty much swipe anywhere you want to. There's even one for S Pen. So if your phone has the S Pen support or has the S Pen, you know, that's that's uh, with the device, you'd be able to test it with S Pen as well because, you know, touch and finger or touch and S Pen are kind of different. 
Now, I'm trying to do this without looking at the phone. I'm actually just watching my monitor right now, so this is a little bit harder for me to get it all lined up. Uh, so here, let me go through this really quick. In order for you to get out of this one right here, instead of swiping back twice, you do have to swipe all of those little uh, squares and rectangles to get out of it. So again, you can test the black, you can test loop back, you can test the version or take a look at the version, test the S Pen, grip sensors, front cam, things like that. So this is the test menu. So again, that one was just star pound zero star pound. And then lastly, the one I want to show off is going to be one that, uh, again, is advanced, especially if you're into Wi-Fi and information. So if you go inside of your settings, uh, we're going to go to the very top and go to connections. Now, through connections, we're going to go inside of Wi-Fi. Now, with Wi-Fi, on the very top right-hand side, if you go inside of intelligent Wi-Fi, now this is, again, here found on Samsung One UI 5.0. Now, if you scroll all the way down and you take a look at intelligent Wi-Fi 5.0 and then you tap it several times, now you just unlocked uh, Wi-Fi developer options. Now through here, you can take a look of, at a lot of really cool uh, details and informations, the RSSI, basically your strength. Um, you'd also be able to take a look at nearby Wi-Fi information so you can see which one is the best. So you can see what is best, what is worst. Uh, you can take a look at the band, if it's you know 2.4G, if it's 5G, whatever the case may be, the RSSI. Uh, if you tap on one of these, it'll kind of show up and pop up over there. But if I tap on it, it's going to give a lot of details I don't want you guys to see. So this is a really cool area to see you know which ones are the best ones to connect to. You can also do some Wi-Fi and network diagnostics there, uh, router-specific history, time-specific history, and application-specific history as well. But mostly where you'll find help with this one or any benefit, you know, beneficial stuff from this one is by taking a look at that nearby Wi-Fi information without getting into you know anything in too in-depth you'll be able to see which ones is the best uh, because if you take a look down here you know if you're looking at these these larger numbers you know negative 87 more likely that's probably like a neighbor's one so it has the worst connection so you'd be able to see which one is the best one to connect to so right now where I'm sitting uh, my best one will be the Jimmy Nighthawk. But if I was to go upstairs, these numbers would actually change, and then the better one would probably be the B Family 2G. Now you see that the 2G is a little bit better than the 5G. Again, lower the number, the better the strength. So 5G is really good if you are right next and near to it and it's really fast, but it doesn't really penetrate too much. 2G is one that actually penetrates walls and it goes further, which again, in another room, a little bit further away will especially give you that better connection. So these are three different hidden, advanced, you know, unlockable menus that you can have and find on your Samsung Galaxy device. I know there's a few more out there, but I wanted to you know, take a look at these three. One of them was just kind of fun to see. I totally forgot that it was even there. Uh, but uh, you know, again, seeing things from the back end of a phone and how some things work and their progression is actually pretty cool. The test menu is really good if you if you have a Samsung phone for many years, you're able to get this done. Again, test your phone at your own uh, at your own time. You'd be able to tell Samsung what's really going on. You can even tell them you went to test mode and what you did and what you found. And then the last one was if you are a big nerd into Wi-Fi and information, you'd be able to figure out and play with some things. You can also utilize and figure out which is best where you can sit if you want to go with 2G or you know the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz, whatever the case may be in terms of connections and, and things like that. It's pretty fun, again, uh, mostly for the advanced types of people out there. But for anybody else, you can play with it, especially with that test menu. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.